Good morning, everyone. Today is Way In Wednesday. You don't just realize I broke my favorite coffee mug. My, I have two of them. Now I only have one. But you know the coffee mug that I always use, the one that has a superwoman on it, and it says something like strongest woman alive. I love that mug. <laughs> this is not my favorite, but you know, I just realized green, green. I have Kelly Green shorts on. I don't know what's going on with that. It Maybe there's something, is that a good, does it mean it's going to be a good luck day? I don't know. That would be a good thing, wouldn't it? All right. So we have a lot to get to today. Today is Weigh-In Wednesday. And if you don't know, that is the morning that I get on the scale after two cups of black coffee. This is my third. And I get a little feedback from the scale. How does it think I did? Does it think I lost weight? Does it not? What does it think of me? Judge me, scale. That's the day we do these things. So we're going to talk about what did I do right, what did I do wrong, and what could I do better, but also what did my dietitian think? Boy, I'm just full of, the Wednesday is the day that people just, you know, give it to me. The scale, the dietitian, feedback from my weight, how much I weigh, ugh. Anyway, that's okay. We can handle it, right? We're in, we're up for it. All right, let's jump in. How did my weigh in go? Let me take a sip of coffee first. All right, how did my weigh-in go? I am down 0.1, which means nothing. So it's just one of those weeks. That is totally okay. I'm really, really close to goal, and that's going to happen. You know, if you think about it like as a long endurance run, you know, sort of that 20-mile marathon that never ends, that's sort of where I am, but I'm just getting ready to cross the finish line. I'm in that final, final block, and I don't want to run out of speed. You know what I mean? So, you know, and also the other point on that, I was talking to Kevin about this yesterday. So he got aggravated with me yesterday because he wanted to go out to eat. Now, I take my relaxed meal the day of weigh-in, so today, or maybe tomorrow, but I prefer to do it on Wednesday because it's just how I like to do it. You know what? It's my eating, and it's how I want to eat. So he gets to eat how he wants to eat, just like everybody gets to do whatever they want to do. I prefer to take my relaxed meal on the day that I weigh in. He didn't like that. So he got aggravated with me and he said, when is this going to be over? Like, at what number are we done with this? Like, and I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, what's your goal weight? And I said, well, you know that I'm like 3.4 pounds from it. And he said, well, then why, what's the big deal? What do you care? And, you know, I, I was thinking about it and I, I told him, I said, I care, Kevin, because it's what I plan to do. Can I go off course? Of course I can. And I said, but it's not what I plan to do this week. I have goals, they're important to me. You have goals, they're important to you. And you know, you just have to let people do their thing. If you wanna go out to eat, I will certainly go with you, but you know, I'm not gonna have a food fest. Well, then it won't be any fun. You know, and see, I shouldn't have to, if, you, if I go out, if I say, okay, you know what, I'm gonna go out to eat with you, and then you also, you also want me to eat bad with you? Come on, like that's not, no. Anyway, I, we kind of got off topic there for a little minute, but my point in telling you that story is that it doesn't just end. You don't cross the finish line and, it, and it's over. There's always the next race. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. I, that, I was frustrated by that comment. All right. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? What could I have done better? I'm completely pleased with everything that I did for the week. I meal prepped. I made chicken burgers. I made two turkey tenderloins, so I have my proteins. I made a big giant salad, and by that I mean I chopped lettuce and vegetables and cucumbers so that I can throw a salad together, sort of, you know, like that. So I felt good about that. I also made my, I call them the big cookie. I've, I have one entire video um, just dedicated to how to make that cookie. It's super delicious. It's not super sweet. Um, it's more like a breakfast cookie. I love it. So I made a batch of those. So I meal prepped and I tracked. I am really, really committed to tracking everything that I eat. And also I did not bail out of my meeting with my dietitian, which, you know, sometimes I don't feel like doing it. Sometimes, you know, it's a half hour of my life that I'm sitting in front of Zoom and talking about food. And sometimes, you know, to be honest, I just don't feel 
like talking about food. So I also took that meeting and I learned a lot. Okay, let's talk about what she thought. Okay, so this one was a little bit hard this week because I got my results to my blood work. I had blood work done again and my A1C is still right there at the borderline. 5.7 is what my A1C is. And I don't like that. I, I don't want it to be that high. I'm trying hard. I'm working hard. But I do have family history working against me for sure. Um, but I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. But, you know, sometimes when you're when you feel like you're doing everything that you reasonably can in the moment that you're doing it and it's not working, I, I don't know. It's tough. You know what I'm talking about. So do I need to kick up my exercise more? I do. Do I want to? I 100% do not. So I'm, I'm working on what I think about that. We're talking through some ways to get exercise in because it's important without it being something that I absolutely despise. So more to come on that. I'm not, I'm not just going to quit. I'm not just going to give up and say I can't do it. I can do it. I just have to figure out the way to do it that works in my life. So we talked about that and we do have some ideas as far as that goes. Now, one thing that I have been doing is the YouTube walk things. Like I do find, because it's so hot in Florida, I do find that if it's raining, we're in the rainy season or if it's 110 degrees, then I am okay with finding a spot and doing one of those, you know, um, walk at home type videos. So those are workouts that I can handle. So I've been doing a little bit of that. Now, my eating. You know, I let you guys know last week that my dietitian feels that my carbohydrates are already low. Not keto, not 20 and below. I know for those of you who are a little bit, you know, maybe into what's more of a very low carb diet or a keto diet, my number is not, you know, for me to be right at or right below 100 to you, that's going to feel like a lot of carbs. But for me, because I'm trying to eat balanced, that is not a lot of carbs. In fact, she thinks that it's not enough carbs. So we're kind of working through that to see what my body does. But I did ask her, I want to give it another, you know, three months at least, maybe six months to see if my blood sugar moves at all. Like, And like I said, I'm not... I am not diabetic, but I'm right there at the line of pre-diabetes, and, and I don't want to have that. I know I'm insulin resistant, carry my weight through the middle, and you know, it's important losing 5% of your body weight makes a huge difference when you're in that situation. It makes a huge difference anyway for, for anybody to lose 5% of your body weight. So, and as you know, and many of you are so kind and you say, I think you look great the way that you are. And I appreciate that very much. I'm kind of, you know, separating the men from the boys a little bit right now and saying, okay, I know that I have fat, like visceral around the center of my stomach. And that's what I need to lose. So I am going to do a little bit more weight training, try to get into that more consistently and kind of tighten that up. And maybe that'll make me feel good and I'll feel good about it and I'll want to continue doing it. But as far as the eating goes, we're going to stay the course. We're going to stay in that balanced plan of a little bit higher protein. You know, my dietitian says that you can 100% eat too much protein. So she is saying 25 to 30, maybe 35 grams of protein per meal. My goal is that if I do eat a snack, and I'm trying not to eat a snack, I'm trying to eat more at breakfast, more at lunch, and more at dinner, evened out so that I don't eat between meals. Because for me, that does cause an insulin spike. So what I mean by that, is are you the kind of person that you can go fine if you're not eating, but the second you put food in your mouth, it's on? If you're that person, then you might have the same problem I have, which is that as soon as you eat, your body's like, let's do this. Let's keep going. So that's the reason that I like to avoid the snacks. And it's hard sometimes. And she said, you know, let's just eat. Let's just pick up more calories in breakfast, lunch, and dinner so that you don't feel like you have to eat in between meals. But other than that, I'm going to stay the course. I'm going to continue on with the protein, 
the carbs, the fat that we have built into my macros. I eat about 1,350 calories per day. That may seem a little bit low to some of you, and if I start doing more exercise regularly, then it is low, and we will increase it to probably somewhere between 1,500 and 1,600, but right now, I'm not there. Right now, you know, I'm barely breaking a sweat when I do my cardio, so it I'm not burning, and maybe I burn 100 calories. That's, I'm just being honest. You know, sometimes people think, well, you know, I did walk around the block today, so I probably burned 500 calories. I'm really sorry to tell you, but you did not. It's, you cannot believe how quickly you eat the calories and how long it takes to burn the calories. So that's where I am this week. We're just basically status quo across the board as far as weight goes and as far as my plan goes. And I'm just going to keep, you know, I'm going to assume that if I keep doing the right thing, my body will get on board with health and weight loss and everything that I'm trying to achieve. So I will see you on Friday.